Everybody's talking about Puss in Boots The Last Wish, but do you know all the stars who helped bring these characters to life? Let's check out the voices behind this kooky cast of characters. Number 1. Puss in Boots just isn't Puss in Boots without Antonio Banderas. Ever since fans first met Puss in Boots way back in 2004 when he made his first ever on-screen appearance in Shrek 2, he's always had that same recognizable voice. Puss. You may be surprised to find out that that voice has come a long way since the very beginning. Banderas was originally told to give the character a very little voice. You know, a voice made to fit this little guy. Of course, the Puss in Boots voice we've come to know and love is very different. For you, baby, I could be. That's thanks to Banderas, who suggested that the playfulness of a juxtaposition between a big voice and a little cat may add more humor. And everyone involved was a big fan. It's clear that Banderas loves Puss in Boots as much as we do, since he's played the character five times over the course of nearly two decades. He played Puss in Boots in Shrek 2, Shrek the Third, Shrek Forever After, Puss in Boots, and of course, Puss in Boots The Last Wish. Banderas loves how the character has changed over his many years of playing him. He especially enjoyed how Puss in Boots took on a life of his own when he got to strike out on his own sans Shrek and Donkey. In particular, Banderas loves how his character changed in the most recent movie, citing the scene where he has a panic attack as one of his favorite scenes of all time with Puss in Boots, because of how the character was vulnerable and really, really human. While he did feel particularly human in that moment, he's still one of our favorite cats. So what about our favorite dog? Trust me! Easy, easy, you're gonna give yourself a hernia. Number two. That would be Perito. Harvey Guillen gave Perito his lovable voice. Since seeing Puss in Boots The Last Wish, we're pretty sure that you could recognize that voice just about anywhere. But if you weren't familiar with Harvey Guillen before, you might know him as Guillermo de la Cruz from the FX series What We Do in the Shadows. When Guillen was asked to audition for The Last Wish, he actually wasn't too confident that he'd score the role. When he did, he was thrilled and loved bringing Perito to life. Though he calls all that time in the recording studio making his voice so high for the character a workout. I'm in the mix now! Okay! Okay, here we go! You know what's way easier than a workout, but just as rewarding? Hitting that like button and subscribing to The Things Animated for plenty more videos about your favorite animated content. Everything okay up there? I'm giving you a thumbs up, just so you know! Number 3. Harvey Guillen needed to transform his voice to play Perito. And so did Florence Pugh. In fact, her voice is so different when she plays Goldilocks, you may not have even realized it was her. Have I a secret? Mama, just drop it, please. Oh. While Goldilocks has appeared in the video games before, this was her first foray into one of the Shrek franchise's films. And what better way for her to make her first official film appearance than with the voice of Oscar nominee Florence Pugh? If you haven't been living anywhere resembling under a rock as of late, then you know a little bit about the actor's work. From breakout roles like Danny in Midsommar and Amy in Greta Gerwig's Little Women, to a foray into the MCU as Yelena Belova in Black Widow and Hawkeye, Pew is basically the it girl actor of the moment. So it's only fitting that she made her animated voice acting debut playing the it girl of fairy tales. Speaking of fairy tale characters brought to life, number four, we have Jack Horner, who is played by John Mulaney. Little Jack Horner, who sat in a corner eating a Christmas pie of the nursery rhyme fame, was once a fairly forgettable child who stuck his finger into a pie. Little Jack Horner sat in the corner eating a Horner pie. In Puss in Boots The Last Wish, however, he's more of a ruthless villain. An evil fairy? Eat the forest then! Put a curse on it! The character formerly known as Little Jack Horner is now Big Jack Horner, and since his entire rebrand is a joke, it's fitting that he's played by a stand-up comedian. Jack Horner is a great unexpected villain in the film, but there's another villain who we found even scarier. Number 5. That would of course be the wolf who is so scary that he happens to be death itself. Lives flashing before your eyes. If you're wondering how he got that perfectly villainous voice, that would be courtesy of Narcos star Wagner Mora. While he was able to give the movie one serious performance, Wagner Mora says that he had a lot of fun playing the character, even sharing that his kids helped him rehearse. In an interview, Mora shared how much he enjoyed trying different voices to get the perfect takes for each of the character's lines, and he called it like playing. As for his take on the wolf, Mora says he loved the message behind the movie and how his character was such a major catalyst to carrying it out. Wagner Mora may have loved being the voice of the wolf, but he's not the only member of the cast of Puss in Boots The Last Wish who fell in love with their character. Number 6. Salma Hayek-Penault also has quite a soft spot for her character, Kitty Softpaws. Softpaws. 
Kitty Softpaw. The Oscar, Golden Globe, and Emmy nominee, as well as two-time Emmy winner, was thrilled to reprise the role she originated back in the first Puss in Boots film. And while she had played Kitty Softpaw's Puss in Boots love interest once before, that wasn't her first time playing Antonio Banderas's love interest. She shared an on-screen romance with Banderas for the first time in the 1995 film Desperado. The pair also starred in Four Rooms, Frida, Spy Kids 3D, Game Over, and Once Upon a Time in Mexico together. It's clear that these two iconic actors love working with each other since they're still doing it nearly 30 years later. And as for playing Kitty Softpaws, we have a feeling Salma Hayek Penault would be working with her for just as long as she'd been working with Banderas if she could. I wish she could be part of my family of animals. <laughs> that said, we have a feeling that not all the members of this star-studded cast would like to keep their characters as pets. Number 7. Like Samson Kayo, for example, who plays Baby Bear. Sure, the idea of a baby bear seems like it could be a cute and cuddly pet, but this version is a bit of a bigger and less baby version of Baby Bear. Sniff him out. You don't tell me what to do. He's voiced by Samson Kayo, who you may recognize as Aluwandi from Our Flag Means Death, or Malik in Bloods. And while this was Kayo's first time voicing an animated character, it wasn't his first time acting alongside Antonio Banderas. And it wasn't his first time doing it in an animal-centric movie, either. Kayo played a pirate to Antonio Banderas' Pirate King in the 2020 movie Doolittle. Number 8. Baby Bear just wouldn't be Baby Bear without his mama bear. Listen to your sister, baby. Oh, she's not my sister! And in the case of Puss in Boots' The Last Wish, Mama Bear is played by none other than Olivia Coleman. Goldie, is this him? Coleman is a star in any project she graces, which is proven by her impressive award collection, including an Academy Award, two Emmy Awards, three Golden Globe Awards, a British Academy Film Award, and three British Academy Television Awards. She also has a penchant for playing queens, from Queen Elizabeth II in The Crown to Queen Anne in The Favourite. And we think it's only fair that we add Mama Bear to that list. As far as we're concerned, she's a queen in spirit. Out with it, you old biddy, or I'll have your guts for garters. Number 9. Of course Papa Bear is the king to Mama Bear's queen, and that's all thanks to the voice acting of Ray Winstone. We're looking for the legendary Puss in Boots. Have you perhaps... Winston is known for playing tough guys, and you may recognize him from his roles in The Departed, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, Snow White and the Huntsman, Point Break, or Black Widow, just to name a few of his many, many roles. He also played a cat in the movie version of Cats, but he opted to go the bear route this time around. <laughs> I like the cat of his jib. Did you know all of those actors' voices made appearances in the film? Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments, and for more videos about your animated favorites, be sure to like and subscribe to The Things Animated.